Well, welcome back to another episode of Johnny Trucking Outdoors. On this episode, I hired Jed here, which is a local guide in the central western part of Michigan, to teach me some new techniques on catching steelhead. To be frank and honest with you guys, I've caught a bunch of steelhead and salmon out on Lake Michigan, but never had too much luck for steelhead in the rivers, and that is certainly something I'm trying to become better at catching here in Michigan. So stay tuned, I'll show you guys the techniques. Hopefully you can catch some steelhead or brown trout here today, and let's get right into this action. I'm gonna try that better. That was not the best cast. Fish! Yeah. Awesome! Dude! There we go. Should I set the drag on looser or just... Yep, you can loosen the drag a little bit. Let it play. Oh. Nice. <laughs> That's awesome, dude. Jumper. There's a beautiful brown. Brown? Beautiful brown. A chunky brown. Rod tip straight up. Straight up. Chunky, chunky brown. Awesome, dude. What a little nice. football. That was a beautiful brown. Beautiful brown. That's one of the uh, loop beads jigs there. That's awesome. Hey guys, I just caught this beautiful brown trout out there. I'm going to go ahead and release them. Pretty awesome. There he goes. That's pretty awesome. Well guys, welcome back to another episode of Giant Trucking Outdoors. We're out fishing and with my buddy here, and we're gonna hopefully catch some more steelhead out here. Stay tuned. World famous. Oh, well, we are cooking up breakfast out here. It's pretty awesome catching that trout earlier today. This is Jed for all you guys. Well, after a nice hot breakfast out there near the water, we went ahead and kept on fishing that area. Didn't catch much, so we moved on to a new location. Yep, fish on. Fish on. Fish on, buddy. Dude. Maybe start chasing them down. Start chasing them. Come on down. Come right down into the water. Keep him up. And then face him. Tilt your rod this way towards me. Yep. Sounds go. good. Dude, this is awesome. Stay right there. You can even back up just a little bit. <laughs> Keep them right here. Yeah, I don't want them. Hot and top special. <laughs> Hot and top special. That is so awesome, dude. Are you just sitting there with it in the car, yeah. letting it plug? Yeah. I just let it slow down there. How's that? Yeah. Dude, that is a beautiful steelhead. Good fish. Let her tire out. You need to. Loosen that drag, yep. I don't want to lose this fish. <laughs> Caught perfectly in the corner of the mouth. It's awesome. There it is. Wow. <laughs> that is awesome, dude. There you go, buddy. There it is. That Went is awesome. That <laughs> what a beautiful buck. That is a beautiful buck steelhead right there. Caught right in the corner of his mouth. That's awesome. Well, thank you. Of course, buddy. This is Jed here. He does guiding services. I uh, guide for salmon steelhead. 
all over trout and I uh, guide for waterfowl in the fall but this is it right here this is what we came for pretty awesome that's my first steelhead that I've landed in the rivers I've hooked a bunch but lost them all and if you want to get a guiding service with him to catch some nice steelhead or salmon or shoot some ducks or geese I'll leave a link in the description below and you guys can check them out or give them a call and get something set up but that is a beautiful fish right there I'm gonna get another camera and we'll only go ahead and release them should be awesome so guys we were just trying to release that fish and it squirmed out of my hands I wish I had that on camera but it did Swim off perfectly fine. He got off fine. He he's flopped right out of our hands. So we were using this hot and taut right here, and worked extremely well, like you saw in the video. So that's a pretty awesome bait right there. Never caught a steelhead on that before, but it worked yep. pretty well. You can cast them, plug them. No yeah, problem. good little bait. So we're going to keep on fishing. Hopefully, catch another one here. Got some good underwater footage of releasing it. It just squirmed down my hands. So. Pretty cool. Yeah, huh? Better that luck was next awesome, time. dude. That's all right. Well, we'll get back to fishing. Fish on, guys. <laughs> That's awesome. This feels like a lot nicer than the last one. He's just staying down. I don't think he knows he's hooked yet. Keep your rod up high, keep your tension. Yep, keep it nice and hot. That's a good fish. Yeah, a lot nicer than the last one. Try to move downstream a tad. Yep, yep, just keep it right here. Right here is fine. It's a big brown. Huge brown. Big brown? Nice. That's it for me? Yep. <laughs> Dude, that is. That's my PB all day, I'll tell you that. Wow. That is crazy. That's a good one. Dude. That is a big brown trout. I want to get a measurement and a good photo. Absolutely. That is gorgeous. What a brown. <laughs> well guys, we just caught this awesome, beautiful brown trout out here on the river. Pretty awesome. I'm really glad I caught it. This is certainly the biggest brown I've ever caught in my life. So, great to catch this PV. Well guys, I'm gonna release this beautiful something half inch brown trout. Man, that's a fail, but he's swimming off. That's awesome. He was certainly ready. <laughs> They've been ready today to get home, that's for sure. Yeah. That's funny. Man. Talking about flops and flopping them. Blooper <laughs> fish all day. Yeah, they do. You just flopped right in. Yeah. Same as the other steelhead that I lost and I couldn't even film a good release video, but at least they're lively and active and none of them got hurt or no, he's fine. anything else. They'll be fine. So we'll keep on fishing, but that was pretty epic. Good fish, buddy. Congrats, dude. Well, we fished for a couple more hours, but didn't catch anything else. So it was getting late in the afternoon, so we went ahead and headed on back to the truck. Well, guys, we are just wrapping up here for the day. Jed just left here a second ago to head back to his house, and I'm wrapping up, getting ready to head back to my house as well. I hope you guys enjoyed this video, learned a couple tips with what we were catching. That was pretty awesome to catch that 17 half inch resident wild brown trout out here, as well as a 14 inch brown trout, and catch my PB river steelhead. I've caught some good steelhead out in Lake Michigan, but that's certainly my biggest one here in the river so that was pretty awesome hope you guys enjoyed this video i'll leave the contact info for jed below if you guys want to check out his guiding service as always the outdoors stay amazing i'll see you guys on my next adventure i'm gone